Hi everybody, it's Miss Carter again. I'm here to go over today's assignment, uh, which is a virtual lab uh, in your McGraw-Hill online textbook. Uh, it is called How Traits Are Passed uh, from Parents to Offspring. Okay, so this is what you're going to have uh, on Classroom that you're going to be using. And you will need to log into McGraw-Hill. Reminder, you need to go through Clever. Uh, when you go into Clever, Click right here on McGraw Hill, and when you do, you're going to log in to McGraw Hill. Uh, and when you get on there, uh, or how you log in is uh, remember it is your first initial, and then your last name, and then 20 21. Okay, so if it was for me, it would be C Carter 20 21. Okay, so first initial, last name 20 21. Then your password is Wildcats one make sure you put a capital w and make sure you have a s on wildcats okay so wildcats one is your password uh, when you get in you're going to see on the main page uh, there should actually be two labs on there one is from a long time ago that we did the one that you want to click on is this one right here how are traits passed from parents to offspring okay when you click on it Let's see if it lets me in. Sorry guys, my computer is being very slow today. All right. So once you're in here, uh, you're going to find something that's basically going to be going over uh, Punnett squares as well as phenotypes and genotypes again. Make sure that we got all that down. Uh, but it's going to do it in a fun way where you're going to create uh, your own little animal uh, with certain traits. Uh, you're going to have six traits, actually, that you're going to be looking at on that animal. Okay. Um, so... Let's see if it's going to open up. There we are. All right, so this is a hereditary or her heredity uh, lab, uh, which remember is the uh, or the study of genetics is um, heredity is the study of genetics. So what we do is we go down to procedure, and we're going to first off says click the video button, watch the video about Punnett squares, write your observations in your journal. So you're going to click right here on the video button and watch that. You do not need to write observations anywhere, okay? So you're just watching the video. Then it says select a trait from the list of six traits. All right, so if we go down a little bit here, these are the six traits, okay? You're going to be using all six of them. Uh, and then you're going to uh, basically just follow these directions to kind of go through this, all right? And so I'm going to walk you through what we're doing. All right, so... Let me go ahead and open this bigger so you can see everything. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is eyes. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click right here where it says perform the genetic cross. Okay, and basically what's going to happen is the computer is going to pick our parents, the, the mom and the dad here. Okay, and the computer will also do the crosses for us, so complete the fun at square. All right, now the next step is I need to figure out what do these uh, genotypes mean for my phenotype, all right? So if I look down here at my key, it says that the big E is one eye. So anytime I have any big E in my genotype, that means there's going to be only one eye, all right? So I'm going to drag the one eye up here and drag the one eye here because those both have a big E. Both of these only have little E's, so that's going to mean two eyes. So I drag that up here and drag that up there. Okay, now I click check. Everything comes out good. If it didn't, uh, there'd be yellow, okay? Uh, plus you wouldn't get the nice sound there. Uh, so what you're going to do next is you're going to decide which of these do I want my little monster person here to have. Do I want him to have one eye? Do I want him to have two eyes? Yeah, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to make mine with one eye. Okay, so you just click on it after you've hit check and everything's good, and your monster now has the eye. All right, so that one is finished. 
And now we go on to ears. Uh, ears, uh, again, I'm going to click on perform the genetic cross. All right, and there's mom and dad. All right, and all the babies. All right, so now it tells me right here that capital R means elephant ears. So since every single one of these has a capital R in it, that means that every single one of them is elephant ears. But let's say I put mouse ears right here. Let's see what happens. Ah, see, it turns yellow. So that... Okay, so it even gives you a little bit of a heads up as to, hey, what went wrong? All right, so now I got to drag him back down and let's do elephant back up. Okay, and click check. Everything's good. All right, so now since I got them all right, uh, they don't really have a choice here. I got to choose elephant ears, but I just click on one and he has them. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then I will show you. Come on. There we go. All right. So uh, here it tells me that the big N is pig nose, little N is dog. All right. So again, these two have a big N in them. So that means that they are both going to be pig nose. So I drag pig nose up there, pig nose right there. And then the little N's are dog noses. So dog nose there dog nose there. Okay. I hit check. Everything's good. And so then I got to decide which one do I want. I think dog nose works. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do that with all six of them. All right. Once I have all six traits completed, I am then going to on my lab paper here on my data table, I'm going to fill in the information that I got. So for example, eyes is our first one that we did. I need to decide or not decide. I need to put down what genotype did I pick? Okay. So I go back here, click on eyes again, and the genotype that I picked, this one here is click down is big E little E and the phenotype is one eye. So I would come up here and I would put Big E, Lily, and I would put one I. Okay. And so then I'll do that for ears as well, and I'll do that for nose and all of them. Okay. So all of them that are on here, I put down the, uh, the genotype and the phenotype for the ones that are on my monster. Then the next part on here has cut and paste your animal here after all of your traits are completed. All right, so I go up here, and this animal, once I have all six traits on there, I'm going to um, copy and paste him. So basically how you do this is you hit Control, Shift, and the uh, multi-page uh, button. It is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth button on the very top row, and you're going to see everything kind of goes dark. And so then I'm going to highlight the part that I want cut and I'm going to hit copy to clipboard. And then I'm going to come up here, make sure that I'm in this box here and I control V to paste it in there. Well, maybe not. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so it's a formatting issue right now. I'll have that solved. So you're going to uh, put it in there um, as to how, you know, put in the picture in there once you have it. Um, let me see here. Actually, it might be better. Okay. So what you're going to do here, guys, sorry for the uh, miscommunication before. Um, what you're going to do is in this cell right here, we're going to try and do a drawing instead. So we're going to insert drawing 
And then the uh, picture that I just put on clipboard, I'm going to paste it here. Maybe. There we are. All right, so now it's pasted there. I hit save and close. And there it is. All right. So sorry for the misconception or miscommunication earlier. Um, you're going to have to do a drawing. So again, you go up to insert drawing and then put it on there and then your picture will be in here. Okay. All right. So once that is finished. Okay. So where we left off, we're finished with all the genotypes, all the phenotypes. You got your picture here with all six traits on it. Then you're going to uh, answer your conclusion questions, which are here off to the side, and um, just type your answer underneath them here, under here, and under here. Okay. So when you're finished, you should have all of these with answers, uh, all of those with the letters for the genotypes, all of this row with phenotypes, so which are what we see. You should have your picture, and then you should have answers for these three questions. All right, and then you'll click turn in and you will be done. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know or Miss Mills know. Uh, just email us uh, or if you're in class with one of us, just ask us. Um, and good luck. Thanks, guys. Bye.